everyone, my name is Rick Pasek, the Flyfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today I'll be doing a uh, pumpkin head leech, uh, pumpkin head leech, pumpkin head damsel, depending what you want to call it. Uh, this is a uh, John Kent original. He uh, came up with this back in, uh, I, I won't even want to guess what year it was, 90 sometime. Uh, and it's been an absolute uh, killer um, still water pattern ever since. So uh, it's tied in many, many, many different versions from many different people. Um, this is my version. Okay, uh, so in the vise right now we have a Hens BL724 to size 10. I'll usually do these at 10, 12, 14. Uh, I've got a, just a orange glass bead from Michael's, Joann's, wherever you live, just a, any craft shop. For the tail we'll be using some green marabou. For the body some Arizona semi-seal and peacock. And for the hackle some dyed orange grizzle. So super simple. Uh, it's basically just a woolly bugger. That's all it is. Uh, it's just with uh, just different materials. So, um, like I said, it's just a basically just a reinvented woolly bugger. But uh, it's this combination has been on fire. Um, I would not go to any still waters, at least not here in Western North America, without one of, without some of these in my box. Um, I tie them in light green, dark green, brown, dark brown, light brown. Um, yeah, they're just great. But always, always, always that orange head and the orange hackle. So I'm going to take a marabou feather. See how some of these are a little bit stiffer? I don't really like that. So I'm going to actually open this feather up like that. And then I'm just going to peel from one side. And fold and peel and fold until I get the little bundle that I want. You'll end up with uh, a little bit of more movement in your in your tips there, right? So and that's what you really what you want with this fly. So I want this to be sticking out about body length and a half, maybe. So body and a half, so about there. So I'm gonna just nip, grab it there. I'll cut that off. And I put this right behind the eye, behind the bead, sorry. Tie this down. Get to the back here, lift your tail, go underneath and over, underneath, sorry, and over. And that'll stop that from getting uh, tangled underneath that hook. So now, yes, this is a bit long, but as I always say in all my videos, if you guys have been paying attention, I always like them a little bit longer because I can always cut them shorter if I'm getting if I'm getting false hits out on the water. I can always nip it with my fingers. I can't extend it if they want a longer one. So, okay. So next, I'm going to take my hackle fiber and I'm going to tie this one in by my by the tip. Okay. So because I want this to be more longer up front than in the back, right? So I'm just going to grab hackle pliers. Just makes it easier to to grab the center stem. I just grab my hackle pliers, and then I can open that up, and that creates a tie-in point for me. Right? Just lay it on top, get it to that tie-in point, and then I'm going to tie that whole extra piece of feather down, just as a just to make sure it's tied in. Okay, now several different ways you can do this. Wax your thread, hand dub it, dubbing loop, split thread, totally up to you. I'm just gonna hand dub this one. Um, I usually do either a hand dub or, or a split thread, but in this case, I'm just gonna do a hand. Now, I really like this Arizona semi-seal, especially in the peacock here. Um, it's got some really nice sheen to it. It's fairly long fiber, so I can pull it out if I want. Um, and the color is just phenomenal. So I want to keep a fairly thin body here, because if you want to imitate a damsel pattern, it needs to be dainty, right? It needs to be small. So I want to keep a fairly thin, but I do want some in on there, because if I'm fishing and I'm finding <clears throat> that, uh, that they're not going after it, Especially if they're not, because that's pretty aggressive how they go after this fly. If they're not going after it aggressively, I'll actually pull some of this fiber out as like a leech. 
and I find that they will commit more than sometimes. It depends, right? So, I just want to have a little bit, a little bit more, right? Actually, tiny, tiny bit more, right behind that bead, but just a tiny bit. fill that little void there. So now you take your hackle and you put one wrap right at the back and then open it up and open it up all the way forward. You want five or six turns something like that and then right here behind the eye I like putting two turns right behind the eye. Right? Sometimes I won't like right now actually I'm not gonna this is a fairly full feather so I'm gonna only do one. I usually like doing two, but it's a pretty full feather, so I don't want it too, too much up at the front. So then I'm just going to take that and nip that. And you can see how the fibers of this are a little bit longer in the front than they are in the back. That's because I've tied it in by the tip. If I tie it in the other way, and I do sometimes, you end up with like that, which is it's longer in the back than the front. So sometimes I do, I don't really like, I personally don't like the looks of it, but uh, um, sometimes that's how they want it. It actually moves a little bit more water that way because it uh, actually leans forward, right? So now I've just done a little whip finish. I'm gonna take just a dab more of my dubbing. But you see how it's nice and thin of a noodle I'm putting on there, really, really thin noodle. I'm gonna hold all my, my, uh, Hackle back, and I'm just going to put a little bit right there. And then I'll do one more set of whip finish. Nice and tight. Nip off that thread. Drop your bobbin. <laughs> And there it is. That is the, uh, that's my version of the pumpkin head. Um, so like I said, you can tie it in many, many different versions. Um, lots of different color patterns. Uh, as long as you've got that orange hackle and that orange bead head, experiment. I've even tied these in black and they've done okay with them. Uh, they, obviously they're taking them as a black leech. This way in the greens and browns, they'll take them as, as a leech or as a damselfly. Alrighty, give that one a try. Um, it uh, gives you, especially for you beginners out there, it, it gives you uh, lots of different um, different uh, 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 things to work on. You know, working with marabou, stripping it off, hackles, dubbing. So it gives you uh, quite a few different things. It is one of the, the woolly bugger is one of the first flies most people learn. And uh, yeah, once you get good at it, uh, they, they fire out pretty easy. Um, yeah. Alrighty. So if you like that, give me a thumbs up. If you've uh, subscribed, thank you. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Um, and once I hit a thousand subscribers on my page here, I will be giving away a copy of uh, both of my books and a, a selection of flies that I've tied on this channel. So tie lines, everyone.